I I have a lot of respect for Gargians. I mean, how how can you deny his achievements? And when you listen to his life story, the kind of abuse that he suffered and the hardships that he overcame and the the sheer kind of scale of things that he's taken on. Um, it, for those of you, let's, let's backtrack. For those of you who don't know David Gargings, he was a Navy SEAL. He was um, a, a, a kind of um, disadvantaged, shall we say disadvantaged, he was born into a life that was very difficult. He had an abusive father. Uh, he suffered through uh, his place in the world, through being black. He he uh, had racist um, people uh, and events happen. Um, uh, he had learning difficulty. I, I, I'm not going to go into whether that was diagnosed or not. Um, but, you know, as someone who... Uh, has a diagnosed learning difficulty in the form of dyslexia. I, I I fully get it, and part of the part of the thing that's kind of cool about his new book, if you listen to it on the audio version, is that he does it in a kind of there's there's bits that he couldn't write, so he does it in a podcast form. He does it in a talking form. So that that's um kind of that's, that's kind of cool. I I recognise that, and maybe that leads to the confusion. So. Yeah, David Goggins, ex um, Navy SEAL. He was a chief um, operator, I think. I may may not be right about the operator, but but um, yeah, he was he he sort of sold his story. He wrote a book. Um, he's become a kind of online presence. Uh, he's got hashtags of like uh, mental prison, stay hard, never finished, can't hurt me. And he's a self-titled bad motherfucker. That's what he uh, describes himself as. What he aspires to be is like a hard motherfucker. Um, and yeah, I started off by saying that I'm sort of confused because I have to be honest, um, I came to know David Goggins through his appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, and, uh, you know, Joe Rogan just you know, loves him, just um, gives him ultimate props. And, you know, I'm not going to get sidelined into Joe Rogan and how Joe Rogan just sort of gives people a platform, doesn't challenge people. Uh, And I'm not really, you know, obviously not in a position to challenge David Goggins, but, you know, we we all have the right to have intellectual criticism and, you know, right to respond and, um, you know, I'm no way sort of dissing uh, Goggins. You know, I, I, who am I to sort of speak about him? But there's something confusing. There's something a little bit too harsh about David Goggins and his message. Um, his new book, um, which I've been listening to this week, it, it's both uh, moving and um, hard-hitting. You know, that that's what he is. You know, there's... There's a lovely old saying that every toolbox needs a hammer. And Goggins is definitely a hammer. You know, he hammers home his points. He hammers home the fact that he's overcome difficulties. He's set himself these huge challenges. And um, he's met them, you know. I mean, the guy has... He, he broke the the world record for um, pull-ups. I believe um, he's run ultra marathons, hundred miles uh, runs. Um, he's he's written uh, a very you know like a, a best selling audio book. But why am I talking? Why am I talking about him? Why why am I you know why am I choosing to spend my time talking about him and his content? Um, and it's because I feel like. It, it, it's almost like a power move. What he does is he just he tells you his life story, which is undeniable, um, that he suffered abuse, that he had such a shitty hand dealt to him in life. You know, there's stuff about him losing £100 in six weeks, something like that. You know, at 24, he was just a cockroach, um, assassin, as he puts it, like pest control guy. You know, and he he weighed like um, 
something like 250 pounds something like that and you know he he, he witnessed his mum uh, suffer uh, domestic violence and it, he was physically abused and and so on but he he's so hard line in the way that he talks about it um that it gives no no sort of time for kind of empathy like he, he he's got this such hard line of like you know you can be this if you're just a bad motherfucker you know and he's talking about stuff like you know if 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 you want to achieve something in life then you just wake up at like 4 a.m you know if you want to do something you you just work harder than someone else and you you put everything to a side and he does address that at times he says you know this isn't a happy, clappy uh, kind of approach to life and that your relationships might suffer and you have to be single-minded. And he used th- these words that, um, you know, it's kind of associated with, like, alpha male kind of stuff about being a savage, being a beast, being a murderer, you know. And and that can be enticing. It can be enticing to hear someone talk about uh, being this kind of single-minded uh, driven, um, you know, dominating um, person, this personality that achieves things, but I, I don't, I don't think that works for everyone. Um, it, and I've, I've had brief tastes of that in my life, where, you know, I've become really driven uh, at something and single-minded. And yeah, yeah, it it does work. You can achieve uh, things. But for me, there's always a plateau after an achievement. You know, there's a build up and yeah, I've worked hard for this. And um, yeah, I got what I wanted. But the moment that you achieve something, there's always a plateau of, yeah, what's next? Uh, And if you're not careful, if you don't take time you know that's that's what your life can be and you know i'm coming at a sort of direct conflict here because that's what his next book is called you know the first one was you can't hurt me second one is um not never finished um and yeah you know but none of us are ever finished you know um you know barring sort of terminal illness or you know severe mental health um Uh, crises you know when you decide that you don't want to live or you know you're in a war or something um you know I I, I think that most people want to live and I think that that's a better middle ground rather than never finished um so there is lots of great aspects to his teaching he's saying sort of be a disciple of discipline um and that you know if you tune your mind into something enough then you can achieve it but I'm just not sure of his message if that's the right thing that is, um, you know, for both men and women to pursue. You know, if the world was full of David Goggins, you know, it'd be a very uncompassionate place because people would be so focused on their own outcomes that they perhaps wouldn't lift other people up. You know, if we were all example setters, if we were all this kind of number one kind of chasing uh, alpha male figure, then, you know, what 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 would the world be like? I don't think it would be that friendly. And I know that, you know, I'm, as I'm saying this, I can feel the repulsion um, because there is an idea of putting him on this pedestal that he is this hugely, immensely powerful, dominating person that... Um, you know, you can't fuck with him. He's a bad motherfucker, and he doesn't care. He likes it actually. He openly says that he likes it if he if you criticize him, uh, because he can use that as fuel. Um, but I think you know there is room for considered thought and compassion, and that you can achieve things without this um, relentless uh, goal setting. You know. Um, and there we go. Bit of a David Goggins audiobook review, a little bit of a rant, no proper conclusion. Um, I would say I am confused by David Goggins. I hear it all the time. 
Goggins has a great message, but he don't want to end up like him. His body's all fucked up. Well, his fucked up body just got to run 120 mile a week, 2,000 pull-ups, 4,000 push-ups. You're not afraid of having the fucked up body. You're afraid of the fucking effort. See, what you don't understand is this. We're all being tested. And that road to success is a bumpy ass fucking road. Has potholes, nails, detours and shit. Yeah, a lot of you are gonna die with a nicely preserved body. No plates, no bad knees, no bruises, no scars. Stay hard.